Child Care Center in Chattanooga is closing its doors. News 12's Nick Hill learned about the impact it'll have on the community and families. The Siskin Institute announced on Thursday morning that they are closing their early learning centers. These centers are located at their Children's Institute on Carter Street and Little Miss Mag Early Learning Center on Lookout Street in downtown Chattanooga. These early learning centers, according to Siskin's website, have been in operation for over 70 years and have been serving children with special needs and development disabilities. In their announcement, Siskin cited two key reasons why they are closing their doors. Rise in operating costs and increasing struggles to retain or recruit staff. They mentioned that if it weren't for American Rescue Plan funding, the centers would have lost $1.5 million last year. Derek Bullard, the president and CEO of Siskin, said, quote, We arrived at this decision by weighing the cost of operating the program against our impact, the quality of the program, and our ability to fulfill our core mission, end quote. For Chattanooga's special needs community, the loss of the Early Learning Center will provide a challenge moving forward for child care in the area. Young children with disabilities are in great need of preschool opportunities with quality staff. And all of the schools and organizations in the region are experiencing shortages. One parent of a child that went to Siskin, but chose not to be on camera, told us that their family is devastated to be losing care for their child. They said that the teachers and staff at the clinic have been providing excellent care for their children. They added they are concerned about the availability of child care moving forward, as they have said it is difficult to obtain child care in our area, especially those with special needs children. They are also upset with the lack of notice, as the centers will be closing on September 29th. Siskin says these closings will not affect their medical, therapy, and other community services. It's tough to keep these programs going, but it's incredibly devastating to the parents and especially to these kids who need them most. In Chattanooga, Nick Hill, News 12.